That's the poster right above the editing bay as you see over here. That's the poster over there which sometimes you guys don't get to see. I'm not doing this for like, you know, any other purpose, but these are some of my favorite movies of all time. So it just made sense to have it in this particular review. So with that in mind, let us begin. The Fablemans was directed by Steven Spielberg and tells the story of the Fablemans, a family which is uh, comprised of a bunch of children and one of them, Sammy Fableman, wants to be a filmmaker. He's obsessed with movies since he was a child. He watched The Greatest Show on Earth, he saw a train crash and he was like, you know what, I want to do that. And so naturally what you get after that is a very hopefully inspiring story about honestly the power of filmmaking and storytelling and what just how wonderful that medium can be. This is semi-autobiographical, I believe. Spielberg's young life is sort of represented in this, which I kind of believe because there are so many aspects of it that feel like that. And it leads to something that is incredibly profound. Spielberg is a master filmmaker. This is not something that's new. Everyone knows this. He's Without him, we wouldn't be here. I mean, those two movies right over here, those are not just movies that just happen. Like, you know, someone with a ton of imagination and creativity made those happen. And to finally, you know, sort of like look back on that and to be able to see aspects of how that all came together is genuinely beautiful. A lot of people want to be filmmakers. A lot of people want to get into the industry. A lot of people want to tell stories. And if nothing else, the Fablemans will give you that. That feeling of just perseverance, wanting to keep going and to be able to just take everything that life throws at you in stride and to be able to do what you love. And that makes it honestly one of my favorite movies of the year, maybe even my favorite if I keep thinking about it. The Fablemans is a wonderfully done film and it's emotionally incredibly powerful, filled with some amazing performances. This family is brought to life so, so well. You have some great work from Michelle Williams and Paul Dano who play Sammy's parents, but Gabriel LaBelle who plays Sammy Fableman, he is extraordinary. This kid is a talent and he is so, so good throughout the entirety of this. So much is on him and the weight of this character and, and all the stuff that he's going through comes out in the movies that he's making so wonderfully and it, it really does bring a lump to your throat. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a dry eye in my theater, like if there wasn't a dry eye in my theater, like like that would honestly surprise me. It's It's just genuinely so heartwarming and Spielberg directs the hell out of it. Co-written with Tony Kushner, who he's worked with for many, many years. This is a wonderfully told story that at about two and a half hours never feels like two and a half hours. I could honestly watch this 10 more times and I probably will because I don't know what the situation is regarding its home release, but I can't wait to see this thing again and to show it to more people. It's it's a movie that is just such a meditative look at, at Storytelling. I'm not sure what people expect that I saw some reviews saying it didn't quite work for them I'm not one of those reviews. I suppose I'm one of those reviews. That's gonna sing its praises and I just think it's a wonderfully done film. It's beautifully shot too. Janusz Kaminski's cinematography, once again, remarkable. This man has not missed when it comes to the stuff that he's done for Spielberg. And it's also great because you're seeing the sort of the roots of what made him the filmmaker. And so you're seeing like, you know, filmmaking techniques over here that sort of mirror that a lot. Like, especially, at, at, uh, there are a few key moments in particular where that really comes up and I thought, oh, that's really great. And it's, it's wonderfully executed stuff. But I want to go back to the performances for a little bit because Seth Rogen is in this movie too and he is outstanding. Like, I really, I don't think there was a bad performance in this movie, but there are some people who I was just really like, wow, you're really good in this. I mean, and, and he was one of them. So definitely singing the praises of Mr. Rogen over here. I, I very much enjoyed uh, a, a lot of the stuff that they brought to this movie. And Judd Hirsch shows up for one scene. And it's amazing. And I love Judd Hirsch. He's great. I actually briefly met him once on a, on a set some years ago. Really nice guy. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> like uh, he's he has this one scene in the movie, which is just going to like, you know, probably propel him to a supporting actor nomination, which would not surprise me in the slightest. John Williams, once again, delivers with a fantastic score. And it's, I mean, what is he, 91 years old? And he's still got it, man. Like he's still killing it. Like, I mean, 
Yeah, his interview recently was pretty much saying, I'm going to keep doing this till it's over. And I mean, we're all the more blessed for having his music in our lives. I mean, he composed the thing that's on my t-shirt too. It's, it's going to resonate a lot more for some people than maybe others, but I don't know. All I can say about the Fablemans is I, I just genuinely, I'm in love with this movie. I, I think it's a wonderfully done film. I'm glad I went and saw it in theaters because I, if they, if Universal does its thing and it drops it on demand in like a couple of weeks time, that's a damn shame. This is a movie you absolutely deserve to experience on the big screen. And I hope as many of you get a chance to do that and really get to enjoy it for what it is, which is just this absolute love letter to cinema in general. And it's, it's just another reminder in the year of already really great cinema of the power of movies. I mean, in this case, quite literally so. Because Sammy goes through a lot in this movie. His family goes through a lot in this movie. But the way it's all handled is phenomenal. I mean, this might be one of Spielberg's best movies ever, honestly. I mean, the more you think about it, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this climbs up that list. And for that reason, I think it's really worth recommending. And I'm gonna give The Fablemans a very well-deserved 10 out of 10. I am dropping A pluses across the board at the moment. I mean, Jesus Christ, this is like, what, the fifth 10 out of 10 in like a month? 2022 is a great, great time, man. We're, we're in blessed age for cinema and television. We gotta ex like enjoy this. I have this. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry this review is a few days late. That five day blitz as you, you know, the five videos that happened. I was like, I need a break after that. Uh, I'm glad I had that break though. I'm back. I saw there was a huge spike uh, in subscribers. A lot of you just come in. Truly humbled. I uh, hope you guys stay on. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. As always, if you like this though, and if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and I'll see you guys at the movies.